Canadians love to talk real estate and there's no shortage of news media about the market. If you're interested in what's happening in our local Milton real estate market, then you are going to want to watch this video because we're diving deep right now. The average price for a Milton home is down 8% since May, with certain segments of the market being affected more than others. Semis and detached homes have softened the most since last month, where towns and condos haven't dipped as much. So if you are a move up buyer and have the mindset of a long-term purchase for you and your family, this could be an opportunity for you. It is important to note that we are still up over June 2021 prices, which was a record-breaking year in itself for price growth as well as the number of sales. Looking back over the last five years, the average sale price in Milton has increased 44%. Your hyper local market, even in a smaller market like Milton, is extremely important as not all categories are experiencing the same market conditions at the same time. So having a trusted local realtor is exceptionally important. There were slightly fewer sales in June than last month, but also slightly less inventory to choose from. We often see a slower summer in a normal year outside of the pandemic. So many people may simply be enjoying the summer sun and back to everyday life. July and August will likely have an underwhelming numbers to report. So if you are sitting on the sidelines, the summer could be an opportunity where others focus are elsewhere. We can't talk about the real estate market without touching on the rapidly increasing interest rates we are currently experiencing. On July 13th, the Bank of Canada increased its overnight lending rate by a full percent. In the press release statement, the Bank of Canada states growth is expected to slow down about 2% in the third quarter as consumption growth moderates and housing market activity pulls back following unsustainable strength during the pandemic. They also said the governing council continues to judge that interest rates will need to rise further and the pace of increases will be guided by the bank's ongoing assessment of the economy and inflation. The next rate announcement is scheduled for September 7th, and we will likely see another rate increase at that time. What did the latest increase mean to you? Well, if you are on a variable rate mortgage, your payment will have increased roughly $57 per $100,000 of mortgage. Also impacted was mortgage qualification and namely the stress test. With the increase in rates, prospective purchasers and those refinancing will need to qualify at the minimum qualifying rate. The the minimum qualifying rate is based on either the benchmark rate of 5.25% or the rate offered by your lender plus 2%, whichever was higher. For the past few years, while we've been in a low rate environment where most people have been able to qualify at the benchmark rate of 5.25%, because we've seen rates rise both on fixed and variable products, the minimum 5.25% is really no longer an option and contract rate plus 2% is what will be used to qualify you. The lowest variable rate posted in our Canadian Mortgage app, and we can send you a link if you'd like to try it out, but the lowest variable rate posted in the app was 3.4%, which would leave the stress test qualification at 5.4%, and the lowest five-year fixed was 4.75%, which would be a 6.75% qualifying rate. We pulled together a table of what you may expect to qualify for in a very broad example. We used a $120,000 household income with $50,000 down, um, which would have you qualifying for $650,000 based on that benchmark rate of 5.25%. But as you can see uh, from the table here, Qualifying at the new rate reduces your purchasing power on the fixed rate by about 12%. So essentially on the fixed rate scenario of a lender rate plus 2% in this example, there's reduced purchasing power of 12%. Now, depending on your situation, you could look at different types of lenders such as credit unions or maybe even a lower term. We would encourage you to speak with a trusted mortgage broker. And if you don't have one, we'll direct you to someone who can help you. A healthy understanding of prices and affordability is imperative when looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate. If you would like to talk more about anything real estate, you can book an appointment with us in the Calendly link below.